Welcome to Juniper Educational Services Learning Bytes. This Learning Byte will be on the Juniper Wireless LAN and how to downgrade a WLC series controller. Section Objectives. After successfully completing this Learning Byte, you will be able to verify the current version of the Mobility System software on your Wireless LAN controller and then proceed to downgrade the Wireless LAN controller. How to downgrade a wireless LAN controller involves the following five steps. Number one, log into the CLI and then get into the enable mode. Once you're logged into the enable mode, then you can check the current version of your mobility system software on the wireless LAN controller using the command show version. You also want to check and verify that there's a backup configuration from the upgrade that you did on the wireless LAN controller. You can do this using the command DIR. This will also allow you to check the active boot partition. In the next step, once you've verified that information, you can then set the boot partition to the inactive partition where your older version of your mobility system software is with the set boot partition command and then whatever the inactive boot partition is. It will either be boot 0 or boot 1. Once you've completed that, then you can do a reboot on the WLC using the command reset system. To change back to a previous version of software, we're going to go into the CLI and we're going to set the boot partition back to the previous partition in order to go back to a older version of the operating system. You may have to do this in cases where maybe you hit a bug in the new version or you're running into um, instability problems. Um, there's a couple of ways to do this but this is the most common way if you can get into the enable mode which is what we're going to do here. We're going to go ahead and get logged in, get into the enable mode and then we're going to first do a show version to check what version of the software that we're using and we see that's to 9.012 um, from here we're going to go ahead and we can do a DIR and we can look at our configuration files and I see I've got a backup config for version 8 this is an auto backup that's done when we upgrade the box to 9 and what you also see here is that the active boot partition is boot 0 here, which is version 9. We're going to revert back to version 8 here, and I'm going to show you the commands to do that. The first command we want to do is going to be um, set boot partition to our previous boot partition, which is boot 1, which is the inactive one remember the asterisk marks the active one up there. Now once we do this it's then going to go and locate the file um, called configuration.bak.8.0 and it's then going to ask us if we want to revert back to that previous configuration and we're going to answer yes. We now have our message and we're going to answer yes to revert back to the previous configuration. Once we've done that, we're going to do graceful shutdown and restart, reset system. We answer yes to that. It's going to take a couple of minutes for it to reboot. Normally somewhere between three to five depends on the wireless LAN controller model that you're using. Now that the machine has rebooted. We're going to go ahead and log back in. We'll log in next into the enable mode. And then we're going to do show version to make sure that we've downgraded. And we show that we're back on version 8.0.2.2. Next command we're going to do is simply going to be dir and as we can see from this, we've got our active direct, our active boot um, is going to be boot 01. 
This concludes the Learning Byte. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.